Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Now, I've just loaded in after like a week I couldn't play it because that's how life turned out for me. And uh, when I loaded the game, I heard the warning uh, that uh, we have a food shortage. And I was uh, a bit afraid of what is happening because I remember everything was fine, but it looks like everything is still fine. So I don't know why that uh, happened. What is not fine... Oh, storming colonies. Oh, okay, I know. We are killing off the renegades and they are starving. Okay, that's not a problem. See, I told you I haven't played this uh, for a while. Okay, let's uh, check the resurging. Yeah, we do the low G engineering. And, and because we want to move uh, or build another dome around here for these resources. And also we have uh, a lot of colonists now. And we don't want to run out of space. However, if we build that here, we will need a shuttle hub to transport colonists. Unless, of course, we build another dome around here. And then another here, but I, I, I just don't want to do that. We still have uh, rare metals here. And here we are only uh, exploited half of them. And we can go uh, there, if we have the correct technology, so we don't really need this one. So what I am planning to do is to build a tunnel. And we can tunneling ourselves to the other side of this barrier. Let's just, just test it out. How it would work out. The tunnel uh, here. Yeah, we can. We can put the other side here. Okay, so it is time uh, for us to clear uh, everything from here. and prepare ourselves to build the dome up here. Also, I am remembering that I, I had done a lot of uh, capture meteorites. Uh, planetary anomaly. And we have a few new ones. But these are just resources. Five geologists for resources. Not bad. Yeah, well... I think the capture meteor is, is the best bet. And we did this. So we can have... Uh, we can have uh, concrete here. That's how we use the commander here. Okay, and I think this is the way we will get concrete. It would be nice if we could uh, build rovers. For this kind of thing. Okay, our, our rover is moving here. Okay. I think I get back to you when, when things are set up here. Okay guys, as you can see, we put the foundation of the new dome here and I managed to pick a spot where we can even reach this uh, rare metal deposit if we need it, but we need these two the most. Also, we are in a good distance of this water source, even if it's just a low, but it will be enough for this dome. And also, I decided, uh, by the way, I wanted the tunnel because 
you don't have to use long uh, cables and pipes to bring everything here. We can just connect uh, here and we can connect here. And maybe I even don't put any, uh, any kind of uh, uh, power producer around here. I just uh, uh, chuck down another uh, power plant here. Also, we finished uh, the GHG factory research and we are building the first one. And I think I will do a second one so we quickly can uh, raise the temperature and a cold wave is already in. I am uh, like to see how, how this fusion reactor affects us uh, there. And by the way, we, are also, uh, we also soon have a meteor storm, so I just quickly save it. Uh, we find uh, another anomaly here, but I am, uh, I am not uh, analyzing that for now. Because we have a lot of uh, quick uh, resurges and I want to advance here as much as possible so I can take full advantage of, of that other anomaly there. And maybe it will unlock uh, or reveal us some really crucial technologies. And now, uh, let's, let's wait for this first. Also, I have to build uh, several rock formations around here to protect this dome as well from dust devils. But this is a big step ahead. It seems we have finally defeated the cold wave. Once we were able to build the GHG factory, now we have enough power during cold wave and we don't have to turn off anything. That's great that we can operate uh, unimpended during cold waves. And I don't even have to build the second one. However, that means we have to build the second one once we build this dome. Or before we build this dome. We are currently progressing with the tunnel. And the meteor storm is hit here. Which is good. I was afraid that it might move this way. It started here. Uh, that's good because we have an, uh, an easy, easily reach uh, resources here for uh, this part of the colony, and and we have another incoming meteor storm. So we got plenty of resources, provided we are not uh, getting hammered by the meteor storm. Research complete. We should have now a few geologists. Yes. And the tunnel is almost complete. And I think uh, we should research uh, the drone, not the drone controller, but the drone assembly. Because we will need drones. In fact, a lot of drones. And I also want to move some waste rock from here to there. The reason behind this, once Sectors we build can. this, we have to start building rock formation and I want to have a lot of uh, waste rocks available. Also, the waste rock storages are quite cool here. 
Okay, the first meteor storm is almost over, so we will save scam it and we will be proceeding. So we have a refugee crisis event. Recent political turmoil on Earth has driven many refugees to seek shelter as far from uh, the mother planet as possible. Accepting some refugees in the colony will generate both funding and good press for us. Social uh, transitions are never entirely smooth though. Refugees are untrained for life on Mars and will initially uh, have reduced work performance at all jobs. Some of them may have trouble adjusting the Martian lifestyle and may become renegades. Okay, let's accept 10 refugees. If they can uh, arrive before the great dust storm. We can use the extra hands. Also, we built the dome, built some water supplies for it, but uh, I, I stopped uh, advancing further because of the dust storm, so I want to wait it out and then properly set up this dome. Just to think of, uh, of it, we can do another GH, GHG factory right there. And during the dust storm, I, I have to uh, maintain the valves, uh, and I think I already closing this one because we don't need anything here right now. Oh, we don't have enough room for them. Well, how about executing a few more renegades to make a room for them? also have shuttles now. I build that so it uh, will be easy to build stuff here because they will automatically bring resources over here. Speaking of which, uh, we might build a couple of more shuttles because we have the resources uh, for that now. Okay, we have two colonists here. Just two. We have more renegades, and I think. Yeah, there is no renegades here. And how about here? Maybe three, uh, three colonies uh, changed their mind and they said, oh. We have to go into that dome. Okay, we are no longer in the gates. Luckily, we have tons of food and I want to take advantage of that and just put down more uh, resource deposits for them. As in any survivor game, oh, they will die on the spaceship. Sector scanned. Unless it will be an extra short dust storm. Research complete. 
And that's what we want ultimately. The infinite resources. We kind of want to do this as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's... In fact, let's uh, do this while we have uh, a few colonists here. Maybe we can start with this in the other dome. In this dome. Remove a lot of people here and and remove a, a couple of VR centers here. And I think I will pour these resource uh, research anomalies into that once the dust storm is over. Because that will grant us like ten thousand research points and we can uh, put that into the Moho mine. Poor souls. Well, these poor souls may pass away. And we are starting with a leak. Of course, of course. And the fractured dome. We have a food shortage. No, we don't. I need volunteers uh, to go outside. Okay, guys, the dust storm is over. We managed to survive, and now we will opening that uh, this dome, and we are bringing the refugees here. Also, we have to speed up uh, a few things, like the creative Master realities machine. research. New colonists wow, a hundred colonists. Oh, so we don't need fuel, don't need to refuel that. And I'm moving that fuel away. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? A lot of guys are, are coming here. Okay, then while we're waiting for this research to finish. We should put down a metal extractor. There. So you can do something useful. Also, let's put a infirmary here. And Anomaly in this dome animals. you can have some fun. Well, not right now. We can have some fun in time. Because I want to wait out this and build all the stuff there. Okay, what? That's good. Yeah, I, I turned this off. Because we didn't have enough metal. But I think now, now we have. So... So let's restart that. Okay. 
Okay, the, these rulers are here. Okay, we need to move some concrete here. Okay, this will be a big migration because we need we need five of those things to get the 40% 40, 40%. let's check Well, 40% of workers, so maybe we can deduct the children and senior. Okay, let's see how much one will cost us. Just five. Okay. I think I will move the people from here to the other dome. You are... You are not accepting colonists. You are also not accepting colonists. Or maybe if I just turn off the buildings, they will go here on their own. Hopefully. So let's put down one... Two... Three... Four. Milestone achieved. And as you can see, guys, we did it. We just did it. So we quickly demolish these buildings and we will open these up again. putting another extractor there. So we can mine here a lot. And we'll need a couple of more things here. We need, I think, I, um, okay. We had to figure, we had to figure things out. What we need here. Because we needed the mines. Oh, oh, oh. We needed the mines. We put a lot of, okay. First of all, we don't need this right now because we have still uh, mines I just wanted to increase uh, or advance on this one we need the meteor defense system for sure hmm and we would also need the terraforming bits
especially with the atmosphere. We almost have everything here. Oh, we have the cancer research, the moxie point two. Yeah, I think uh, aside some uh, production, we need uh, we need research here. That that would be the main uh, goal and a university, of course. And before I forget, we also need a security station. And we can put a little park or garden there. And we need the meteor defense system next because uh, a meteor hit the shuttle hub and it basically turned it off. But not turned it off, it destroyed it. We, uh, luckily we can rebuild destroyed buildings even if we don't have the technology for that. But we lost three shuttles, which is kind of a big deal. So we have a lot of stuff here, especially we need metals. So let's bring some metals here. Because we need it for the machine parts factory. We have some foundings, so... I think we have to buy some drones. Sixty six million. Let's buy four. As you can see, we built a lot of stuff around here. I put some reserves here because when we cut this one for a leak, we need to have reserves here and we have some uh, water reserves, but maybe, maybe not enough because an electrostatic dust storm is incoming and a meteor storm is also incoming. So fun stuff all around. But uh, we are building a few uh, buildings that can improve the colonists morale and comfort in this dome. So hopefully they will produce children and we will build uh, research facilities here and I'm thinking well it's uh, the machine parts are rising again so I think we will uh, research the Mohol mine and we start to build it it will take a long time to build that but uh, once once it's done we will have no more resource problems uh, as uh, as metals and rare metals go but i'm also not in a hurry to build that mine because we still have uh, uh, resource depots here and i i want to exploit that so i maybe build that mine uh, the mohol mine up to 90 95 percent and i stop it and then and then finish it when when it's need, when it's really needed Okay guys, that is for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Bye.